Welcome back, this is the Amish Act, and today we got Gunslinger, Ashwood Asylum, Suicidal. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing fine, I suppose. As fine as they come, I suppose. I don't know, it's not really anything uh, exciting, nothing new, nothing... You know, it's just... Uh, it's just, it's a, it's a boring life. I don't think boring is bad, necessarily. I, I think that uh, boring, you know, the consistency, it's, uh, it's not bad. It's not, there's nothing wrong with, uh, with not living a life of constant excitement. I say this as somebody who's working on, like, you know, <laughs> living on a boat in the future. I, I clearly am not okay with, uh, with the, uh, with the boring life, but... I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with it. I just think that uh, it's not necessarily fulfilling for me right now. But uh, you know, I'd rather have a boring life than a than a sad life. I'd rather I'd rather have nothing happening than a bunch of bad stuff happening. You know? I think I think too many people take for granted that uh, good things have to happen too much too often, or I think that. Uh, too many people forget that, uh, you know, things happening doesn't always mean good things, you know? When you got a lot going on in your life and you have, uh, that constant excitement, it might be fulfilling, but it's not necessarily happy. Boring, though? If you can, if you can manage to entertain yourself, if you can manage to, to enjoy the emptiness, and the, uh, and the boring, then you might find yourself uh, taking it as a bit of a reprieve from the, uh, the ins and outs of, of everyday life. So it's a bit of a boring life that I lead, but I, I think that it's, uh, it's a good, it's a good boring life. I haven't been doing much, really, I've just been, uh, it's, it's been a lot of MapleStory, honestly. Um, Back in the game. Maple Story and then reading uh, Medical Return. Still reading it. Still good. Go some they're doing some, some... They're continuing to do some topics that I don't enjoy so much. Again, not things that I think make it bad. Just just topics that I'm not personally f fond of. Um, I recognize the, uh, the purpose of them. And uh, I understand why they happen. I just... I would prefer it if they didn't. But uh, I think that uh, for people who aren't opposed to them, that it'll be a, a good way to handle things, largely. Just for me, it's not really uh, it's not really my cup of tea. But again, it's uh, those 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 topics are fairly minor, and um, for the most part, it's just 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 good stuff, and I like the good stuff. See ya. Bit of a waste of ammo, but we got we got ammo to spare. We're doing fine, dude. Where's the last one? I think I think you hear him in there, right? Yeah, there he is. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, I've never. I don't think I've ever shot through those bars before. It's the first for everything, eh? I joined a guild in Maple Story. I've been, uh, I've been wanting to, I guess I can show you. Oh my god, it's so frustrating. Joined this guild, it's bold. This is the, uh, this is the leader here. Top soul. It's, uh, it's a nice guild. I, I enjoy being a part of it. The people are pretty, uh, pretty nice. Um, they're LGBT friendly, which is always a plus when you're a part of that umbrella of course um, yeah they're 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 generally pretty nice people smaller guilds I'm, I'm a fan of smaller guilds though when, once you start getting to like the large guilds and they're all about like you know constantly just looking for carries and people always want to get into parties and and uh, you know, it's, it's, it starts to get a lot more stressful. There starts to be coordination and, and a bunch of things that, that uh, 
you just don't have to deal with in a smaller guild. And while those things are fun as well, it's, it's more fun in my opinion when you start out as a small guild and then slowly build up to that yourselves, you know? And you get to build that uh, that camaraderie with uh, with your fellow guild people. You get to build that uh, um, sort of friendships and uh, yeah, and then, and then and then you get to start looking for for boss parties and start to to seek that uh, higher end progression and 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 you get to do it together. And in my opinion, that makes for, for a much more enjoyable experience. Um, so I don't mind that we're a bit of a smaller guild. There is one minor problem that I'm going to bring up with them later. Um, it's, it's a minor problem. It's just, uh, there, there's a bit of immaturity, I think, in the, uh, in the guild. So there's this one problem that's going on. I don't know the whole story exactly. Um... But uh, in Maple Story, people will set headquarters. They're not officially supported, right? Like you don't have like a, a spot where you can like go to do like guilds. Well, you do, but it's it's like a specific map that is the same for everybody. So if you're gonna set your guild headquarters somewhere, like you don't really get to like do that officially. But it is nice to have like a a place where where you can go and expect other guild mates to be. Somewhere to go lounge around, somewhere to go AFK, you know, show off um, sort of like the guild representation and stuff, just to, to have that sort of, um, you know, for, for the people who want to be able to do that. Um, so, our leader sets the, um, the guild headquarters to Channel 13 in Hennessy's. Somebody else has a guild who also has their headquarters there so you know both of our members are kind of hanging out and chilling out and, and uh, you know kind of doing the stuff in the same area and the other guild is a little bit seemingly this is this is the story again I don't know the whole story I wasn't there for all of it but um, they're they're apparently being a little bit rude about it like you can see um, like there's this big chair here and uh, you can kind of see like doo -doo -doo. you know find a new headquarters and you'll stop um, you know move like it's just, it's just there's just a little bit of rudeness I don't know if you know who spurred it on or whatever my guild master kind of seems to be a little bit in the wrong there as well um, <clears throat> but I don't know who spurred it on or whatever I don't really care is the other thing um, because I'm just like, it's just drama, and there's just no need for it, you know? Like, I just, I don't get the, the purpose to it, and, you know, I don't know, it's just, just to me, I'm like, I don't know, maybe they're being rude about it, and like, putting down their chairs to like, block people from being able to see us, and, and you know, whatever, like, okay, yeah, sure, maybe, maybe they are. Why is our headquarters still here then? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Maybe I haven't talked about it yet. Um, maybe they have a good reason for it. I'm imagining the reason is just like, well, this is where like our headquarters are. We're not going to move just because somebody's being jerks, which is like, to an extent, fair. Again, I haven't actually talked to them yet, um, but I'm, I'm imagining that's the reason. I, just, I can't see a reason why we have to continue being here. You know, I, I'm assuming the only reason is that we don't want to feel like we lost. But I'm like, who cares? <laughs> Why does it matter? It's it's a game, you know? Like, if being here is going to cause drama, then it's not like we're losing if we, lo if we leave. You know, like, it's not like we've lost. We've just, we've just gained back so much more by not having to deal with the people who were being rude. You know, why would we willfully subject ourselves to that? You know, we don't we don't need to, to prove a point to, to anybody. It's it's a game. You know, and then the other thing is is like does it really matter if people are putting up big chairs? You know, like is that really the end of the world? Does it really have to be that big a deal? 
So that's like the the whole drama about it. And it's like, you know, you, you might be looking at it and thinking like, this is just like stupid drama. I agree. That's why I'm like, I just, it just seems like uh, everybody involved is making a big deal out of like nothing. And uh, I just, I don't, um, I don't get it. Why don't we? Why don't we just go somewhere else or something? You know, like. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up with them later, what were they cooking and uh, see about that. Cause I just I just I don't see the point to 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 willfully subjecting ourselves to to harassment or anything like that. If 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 you know that's what's actually happening, which I haven't been personally bothered by it. I haven't personally seen any um harassment from anybody. I haven't personally been subjected to any kind of issues. Big chairs, sure, but I just like I don't care. So I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I, I'm not personally saying that those people are harassing anybody or whatever. Just that, um, you know, as a result of us being here, drama is happening. Whether, whether you know, we're the ones that are spurring it on or whether they are, it doesn't really matter. You know? Who cares? If, if we're the ones who are being jerks, then I think that we should move. And if they're the ones that are being jerks, then, then I still think that we should move. Because, like, why, why, why do we have to stay? I just I don't I don't get it. So I'm gonna be talking to them about that later. But uh, that's that's really the only like thing about the guild that I I feel is wrong. And you you know, you you'd be looking at it, you'd be thinking it's totally dumb. And you're right. That's why it bothers me. So I'm just like it's too dumb for it to be like <laughs> an actual issue. It's it's just so pointless. There's there's nobody nobody's like accomplishing anything. Nobody's like nothing's happening it's just garbage so well uh, I'll, I'll see about that I have been um, in the discord anyway I've, I've been promoted to I don't know I'm like I don't know if I have any kind of like um, power or anything like that server settings roles alpha yeah so I'm 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 administrative in the Discord. Um, <laughs> I just joined yesterday, but I don't know. It's 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 one of those things, you know. Like I I don't know. I kind of know why. But every time I join, like a guild or a clan <clears throat> or a Discord or something, I or, or even like a Twitch chat. I, I usually end up getting, you know, to, to be a, a moderator or administrative of some sort. Um, it just it just ends up happening naturally to me. And you might be like, oh, poor you. Like, it is, it is kind of, because they just kind of, like, thrust it upon me. And then all of a sudden, I'm, I've got, like, these roles and stuff. And I'm like, I didn't really want to, like, have that attention. And now I'm going to get people messaging me, because... You know, I'm gonna be getting like, you know, people be messaging me like, "Hey, uh, do, you, do, you, do you do carries? Um, can I join the guild?" You know, like it's just the. Uh, I don't think I'm actually promoted in the guild itself in game, just the Discord, because I helped out with some tech stuff uh, earlier. So I guess they promoted me to to uh, an administrative position in the Discord, I guess, um, to help out with that, I suppose, which is fair. Um, not promoted in game. But uh, honestly, like the Maple Story guilds, I honestly, I'm not too opposed to being administrative. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, like I've, I've been offered uh, mod and, and stuff in, in a lot of chats that I'm in. Um, I've been offered moderator in like the Rainmeter chat a few times. Um, I've been offered it in like a few Twitch chats a few times that I used to be part of. Um, there are a few other discords that I've uh, been involved in that that uh, the people offer me mod, and I'm like, I just it, it's a responsibility that you kind of take on, you know. And and you know you could be like, well, you don't have to do anything. You just take it, and then you have the ability to. And I'm like, well, like don't take it then, you know. Like make make it a position that matters, so that uh, when people have problems in the Discord or something like that. And they look through the list of moderators. It's it's a list of people who are willing to help them with the problems, who are willing to to look into to things, who are willing to deal with like harassment and 
and uh, and other stuff that you might uh, encounter in these. Like, make sure that that's what those people are, so that when people have those kinds of issues, they they have somebody to look forward to. If somebody messages me and is like, "Hey, this person's harassing me," I'll be like, "Wow, that sucks." <laughs> That's not that's not really like moderator kind of thing. And I just, I don't have the the will to to help that many people, you know. Um, but yeah, I always get uh, I always get promoted when I uh, when I join these kinds of communities. It always happens in time. It's not like I'm aiming for it, you know. Like I don't get into it and be like, uh, how how long is it gonna take me to get to to moderator in this one? <laughs> I'm gonna speed run the moderator. <laughs> no, like it's just. I'm I'm a nice, helpful person, and uh, typically that ends up getting me promoted, even at uh, at work to a certain degree. Um, I just uh, it's it's, it's it, I've I've said it before. I'll say it again. The key to success is just like be a decent person, you know. Well, the key to success. The key to happiness is be a decent person. The key to success is, is do that, and then also be knowledgeable. You know, I uh, I know how to manage a Discord server. I know how to manage, um, you know, Maple Story guilds. I know how to do all this kind of stuff. So when I join a when I join a Discord or a Maple Story guild or, or whatever, I I naturally end up, you know, giving my own advice, feedback, and stuff because I know pitfalls and stuff from from personal experience and then um, you know after after a while of doing that people are like uh, you want to just like be a mod because you're already kind of like helping out a lot anyway and I'm like yeah sure whatever or if uh, if I'm not then I'll be like no <laughs> nope don't want it typically it's the uh, the larger the server the less I want it um, like the rain meter discord for instance um, it's not like I don't like the responsibility, right? That uh, that you kind of get, right? So like being able to the power that you get to to be able to to remove messages and stuff like that, like that in itself is is something that I am perfectly okay with handling. Um, you know, if somebody's got uh, you know being harassed or whatever, I'm not actually gonna be like, wow, sucks to suck. I'm gonna go remove the messages and, and look into it. You know. Um, the, the, the main issue for me is that I just don't want to be bothered, you know? Like, if somebody messages me and, and asks me for help, I'm going to help them, right? Like, I am. I, just, I don't want to. But I, I'm going to help them because, again, I'm just a nice, helpful person. Um, so when people ask me for help, I, I typically help them. And, uh, you know, when, when you're a moderator or whatever in a, in a Discord full of, like, you know, 70,000, 80,000 people, you end up getting probably a fair few messages from, from people that need uh, help with stuff that you just don't care about. And I'm like, I just I don't want that kind of attention. Whereas in a, in a Maple Story Guild, you might get more, even, honestly. Like, I think that's a common misconception is that the smaller the group, the, uh, the less complaints there are. That's just not entirely true. It's not linear, anyway. The smaller the group, the more friendly the group. The more friendly the group, the more willing people are to make um, those complaints and uh, and mention the problems that they're having. Because overall, you're you're much more friendly with each other. You know each other better, uh, and you're and you're willing to, to make those kinds of comments and and things that, that you might otherwise be a little bit concerned about or, or feel like is kind of overstepping your bounds. So per capita, so to speak, um, the smaller a Discord server, the the more complaints there would be. But you know, eventually the scale just ends up getting to be way too large, and like, you know, e even though per capita, you know, per per person in your Discord, there's just way less complaints. You just have so many more people that it doesn't end up actually showing a, a difference in a in a practical way. Um. But, uh, you know, the, the the flip side to that is, though, you know, you might be getting more complaints from these people who you're friendly with, but you're you're friendly with them, you know? Like, these are your friends. If they have a problem, you want to help them, right? So that's why, generally speaking, with, with things like, you know, Maple Story guilds, Twitch chats, or smaller ones, anyway, um, stuff like that, I'm, I'm, I'm generally pretty okay with, with taking on that responsibility because you get to, to know the people 
who you're kind of helping. You get to know the people who you're organizing and coordinating. And you get to kind of work together rather than, you know, just kind of order them around. Um, and that makes it a much more enjoyable experience. Once, once you start getting into the point where you're like, yeah, we have like our own private little like, you know, admin staff discord where we have to like talk about all the things so that we know what to do because you guys don't get a say in it because you just, you're, there's just too many people. We might make a vote from time to time, you know, let's, let's start getting into that stuff. It's just like, no thanks. I'm good. But, uh... In the guild, yeah, I'm, I'm, I have an administrative role in the Discord. I don't think I have anything on the, uh, yeah, I'm still, I'm still just a, I'm still just a peasant on, uh, on the, in the, in the game, which is the lowest rank in the guild. Um, I imagine it'll get upgraded to, to junior reasonably soon. Not something I'm aiming for. I, I don't really care one way or the other. Just again, it's just... It's probably gonna happen. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna be raising the issue of... Uh, of, you know, maybe moving the guild headquarters around. Just to, like, stop causing conflict. And, uh... You know, and whenever I see issues like that, I, I, I tend to, to talk about them. And, you know... Typically, my ideas are good. I think it's a good idea to move the, the guild headquarters. T typically, when I when I have an idea that I think is is worth talking about, it's it's something that's just kind of like a good idea to do in general. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna give people advice on things that I'm not confident on. You know what I mean? Like there are a whole bunch of other things I could maybe say about the guild and the way it's being run and uh, and things that uh, that um, I could uh, I could do, which is all totally fine. Like, the guild master was giving me, uh... Was, was helping me out while I was leveling yesterday. Just just on his own time. And, uh, he went, like, AFK for a while. And when he came back, he was, like, super apologetic for it. And I'm like, you really shouldn't be apologizing. Um... Because, like, that's just gonna foster an environment where people think that they're entitled to your help. You know, nobody's expecting you to help them with nothing in exchange. Just, like, help out. And if you can't, don't. Nobody's expecting of you, you know, like, don't don't apologize for not doing something which nobody should expect you to do, right? Like, that's stupid. Um, but he was, he was apologizing, and, like, he'd go AFK, and then he'd come back, and he'd be, like, really apologetic again, and I'm like, this is probably gonna foster an environment where people are starting to feel like they're entitled to be given help by people who have, uh, you know, characters that can help them level, or given carries, or whatever. Um, it's probably going to contribute to, like, a, a problem with begging in the guild. Um, but that's that's not something that I'm, like, 100% confident in, you know? It's something where, if I were the guild leader, I wouldn't be doing. But it's not something where I'm, like, 100%, this is something you should not do ever. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to, like, go out of my way to, to like, raise it as an issue and, and, and discuss you know, maybe we should change that and, like, work on this and work on that kind of thing, because this is not my place to talk about, right? Whereas moving the guild headquarters, because where it is is causing drama, is, like, why would we keep it there if it's causing drama, you know? Like, there's just no benefit to it. Even, even if, like, they leave, like, it's not like we won. We just postponed the time that we moved, basically. <laughs> you know, like, it's, it's not it's not accomplishing anything. Um, it's not a personal preference, it's just stupid. Um, so, that's that's why I'll raise that, and then that's why I, I imagine it'll be received fairly well, and, and we'll probably end up moving to a different channel, is my imagination. Unless there is something that uh, is motivating them to, to make sure that it's definitely here. Um, which, in that case, you know, sure. And then, again, it would probably be appreciated that I brought it up and, and was willing to talk about it. Just the way that it works, you know? As long as you handle things in a nice way, then, then typically people appreciate it, even if you're, you're being contradictory to their, to their ideals. As long as you're being respectful about it, people appreciate um, dissent, generally speaking. People you should be associating with, anyway, do. 
And you know, if they don't, then that's probably a good reason for you to get out of there. Because uh, dissent in, in general, disagreements, arguments, all these kinds of things, as long as you're done respectfully, they're uh, they're good. You know, they give you a different perspective on things, and uh, that's something that, uh, that you need from time to time. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you like, and subscribe to more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.